I'm having a, uh, I wonder what would happen if, moment, so I'm um, sharing that with y'all. I've been sort of still thinking about this, uh, this latest, uh, the, the last project for this particular session. And um, still wanting to play with the receding hills idea, but um, varying the... Uh, the color combinations. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to kind of wet down this whole, <clears throat> I'm going to play over here. And one of the reasons I'm, I'm debating is because I'm not sure what it's going to turn out like. Like I think I've just implied but I, I do uh, I'm curious to see what would happen if I if I start blending in some uh, reds up here and then try to transition a little bit to to violet and then dark blues and blacks um, I have a photograph sort of in my mind that I'll share with you guys as well but just kind of curious what um what will happen. So what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to wet the entire am I? Sure. I'm going to wet this entire thing and I'm going to um, I, I sort of I don't really need to wet the entire thing because I'm going to I'm aiming for um, I'll show you in a sec. I'm I'm going for uh, so wanting to address sort of the whole shape, um, but only having color really only focusing on the the upper part. So um, this is one of those situations where it begs the question: Do I really need to wet the whole thing? Um, I am look, looking for a clean, blended transition. Um, remember that this, this is sort of like painting with clear paint. So I still, the same principles apply. I want, if I want it to be dry up, if I want it to, to stay wet and for color to move, I want to put it up here. I got to make sure that there's water up there. I'm going to bring in a little bit of uh, Quinn Rose. Kind of drop it in. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna blend it on the paper here. Uh, evenly wet, but this is this is definitely my a study. I'm going to call this a study, and in fact, I am. Um, I may, you turn. I <laughs> I'm going to turn it upside down and keep dropping in a little bit of color. I'm going to um, get the tiniest amount of peacock blue and mix it with that that Quinn Rose. Um, this is one of the areas where I'm thinking this may not mix in a way that I was wanting it to. Um, I'm trying to go a little bit towards violet, but um, if you are familiar at all with the color wheel or mixing colors, what you know is 
when you mix and blend um, complementary colors. It's dried too much down here, so um, but I think it's still going to be able to. If I drop in some water, it will expand with that. Um, but back to the violet issue. This uh, since I have a background of of a yellow color, um, violet and purple and yellow, while they are cool color, int fun, enjoyable colors, <laughs> especially for the UW Huskies, they will dull each other out when uh, brown gray each other out when you mix them together. So there's a little bit of um, graying out going on. So instead of getting a violet which is what I added over the yellow. It's it's turning to um, more of a brownish, grayish, violet yellow sort of thing. But a little bit, I'm trying to just um, demonstrate some a variety of some techniques as well as just enjoying that uh, playing to see what happens. It's interesting. Uh, it's it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be fun to, to see what keeps happening as I keep layering on some different combinations of colors. And since I'm here, I might as well um, sort of finish up this one, which is just the, the Quinn Rose going to uh, darker and darker, um, adding Quinn burnt orange. And now I'm just going to try to make this last one really just pretty much what you might call a dark black red let's see I'm, I, um, I have Quinn burnt orange and indigo and I'm trying to bring in a little bit more of the Quinn rose as well to give it to make it sure it stays within the red family let's see what happens here I can barely see my line which is okay layers you get on here like I think I've said the, the trickier it is to sort of get it to flow while you're well and still have dark intense color I'm looking over here and seeing that pooling down there and not really worrying about that too much Gentle touch. Yeah, interesting. We'll see. Okay. <laughs>